Welcome back guys. In our fourth part, we have, we have done with the implementation of all the classes. We have, create, uh, we have created an uh, interface at C. We have created the implementation. Then we have created the server. Then we have created its client. Now this step is very important because in this we'll be doing the actual compilation. So the first step, you have to create a client CMD and we'll create a server CMD. So first we'll create a server CMD. Uh, Again, which folder I am I am in my uh, home folder, which is Krishna. I have to move to that folder called as in E drive. I have a folder RMI. Okay, so here to compile this file, we require Java C, which is not there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, just to call this Java C from here, we have to set the part, the part of Java. So we'll say program files Java JDK bin. Now let's say Java C is there. Yeah, it's there. Okay. Now again, we can use the uh, we have to we have we can set the environment variables, but in this example, I'm not going for that. So we'll directly say uh, set path. We require one more thing. We require one more CMD as a client. So we'll say we'll move to RMI. Okay. We have to set the path here also. Let's see colon program files Java JDK and bin. Now, so we have a client machine and a server machine. Let's take Java is there. Yeah. So, so this is your client and this is your server. Or this is your server, this is your client. Now, the first step, we have to compile all the files, right? And to compile the files, we have to type Java C and then we have to mention each file name. Or what you can say is, we have to compile all the Java files. Let me show you how it, uh, we have this. In this drive, we have RMI and this we have four Java folders. See this, we have four Java files. Now after compilation, I hope we don't have any errors here. And yes, we don't have any error. And now you can see we have four Java files and four class files. Okay, so all the compilation is done now. Now next step, we have to create a stub and skeleton of that uh, file. Now to create a stub and skeleton, now you can see we have what we have here. What we have, we have four Java, four class files and four Java files. In total, we have eight files. But what happens after this statement is, let, let's, uh, let's create a stub and skeleton. How to create stub and skeleton? We have to type RMIC and the implementation class name, which is add C. And now when I say enter, uh, uh, okay, uh, with the new version, it will give some deprecation warning, but no issue. Uh, we don't want any the application here. Okay, now what we have is in total we have nine files. You can see we have one more class as added, which is stub. Again, you cannot see a, a skeleton because it is it belongs to server side. So what we can say is only stub. Okay, that was a step. We we got stub and skeleton. Now next step, what we have is we have to start the RMI registry. Now to start RMI registry, the statement is we have to say start RMI registry and enter now this is your RMI registry again uh, it will give firewall will try to block it we have to allow it we don't have choice uh, yeah so we the RMI registry started now so we have done with all the steps the next step we have to start a server to start a server it's very simple you have to just have to say Java server enter and now you can see server started now from the client machine this is your client CMD we can just say Java, uh, we'll say client and enter and the addition is 9, right? So this is how you implement RMI. Again, what you can do is you can change the logic. You can implement RMI for factorial. You can implement RMI for accounting software. You can implement RMI for financial software. You can do anything, but the basic steps are this six. Simple, right? So I, ho I hope you got the idea of RMI here. So if you have any query, please use that comment section and do let me know if you have, if, if you have any, anything to ask. So that's it for this RMI concept. Uh, so do subscribe for further videos on socket programming. Thank you so much for watching.